questions. With regard to seats, as you know, government has already announced certain measures that the old notes would be acceptable in the case of a seed purchase from certain government uh, department and government institutional uh, centers. And uh, over and above these 21,000 crores, as and when additional limits are required, additional limits also will be sanctioned by the NABARD. Now, secondly, to ensure that uh, the farmers get the credit and also they get certain quantum of credit in terms of cash, by way of cash, because there are certain cash requirements for payment of wages, etc. So the banks, the NABARD and the Reserve Bank of India have been advised to make the required cash available to the district uh, central cooperative banks because typically the district central cooperative banks draw their cash from the currency chests which are managed and operated by the commercial scheduled banks and also by the state cooperative banks. NABARD has prepared a list of all DCCBs which require funds for sanction of uh, crop loans in the current Ravi season. The list of such DCCBs and the quantum required by each of such DCCB has been given to the banks, they have been given to the NABARD, I mean they have been given to the Reserve Bank of India and the required cash will be made available. And uh, the Honorable Finance Minister has also held a video conference with the Reserve Bank of India with NABARD and all the banks uh, day before yesterday and has advised and he has advised banks, RBI and NABARD to ensure that the entire, uh, you know, the crop loan sanction and uh, uh, flow of funds to the, down to the primary agricultural cooperative societies, the, you know, the entire operations, the whole chain of activities are carried on in a seamless and in a smooth manner. Then, uh, as you are aware, the Reserve Bank of India has already announced uh, certain relief uh, to, for uh, small loanies up to one crore. So that has already been announced, so I am not uh, going into in uh, detail. Now, the other decision which uh, has been taken, and I must appreciate the role being played by the public sector banks over the last 10-12 uh, <coughs> days in uh, dealing with the situation, in making the cash, in making the new uh, currencies available to the public. I must also recognize the work being done by some of the uh, private sector banks. The entire banking structure has fully geared up to meet the situation. And uh, you are aware that so far as rupee cards are concerned, the National Payment Council of India has already waived, uh, uh, they have uh, waived the switching charges and uh, uh, all the other charges on the rupee cards have been already waived. Now, the public sector banks and the, uh, some of the private sector banks, we have been talking to the private sector banks and some of the, uh, the service providers who provide the switching services, they have agreed to waive the charges, the service charges on the use of debit cards up to 31st December 2016. In other words, the what you call the MDR charges on uses of on use of debit cards, that is rupee cards. It was already done. Now on debit cards, the charges being levied by the banks and by the uh, and the switching charges would stand completely waived. So there will be no charge on use of debit cards. The intention of the this decision and the intention behind this gesture which has been made by the banks is to ensure greater penetration of digital transactions into our economy and to ensure that more and more people migrate towards uh, digital uh, transactions and I take this opportunity to appreciate the uh, gesture of the public sector banks and uh, some of the private sector banks who have already agreed and uh, others are expected to agree and use their uh, and issue their own uh, circulars. Next point is with regard to the use of uh, uh, e-wallets, that is uh, what they call as prepaid uh, payment instruments, PPIs, or more popularly known as e-wallets. Already the Reserve Bank has announced certain relaxations yesterday, enhancing the limit from 10 to 20,000 in respect of uh, individuals and similar other uh, limit enhancement in respect of merchants. So I am not going into it. Next point is that uh, Indian Railways, you know, 58% of the tickets being uh, booked 
in the railway network or uh, through e-ticketing through online e-tickets. Now the railways have also decided and have announced already yesterday that up to 31st of December the service charges on online booking of e-tickets will be completely waived up to 31st December 2016. So this is also another measure, another initiative taken to promote more and more digital transaction in our economy. You see, you have to keep in mind the whole background in which this decision to, uh, you know, to withdraw the legal character of the old 500 and 1000 rupee notes was done. One of the primary objectives or one of the, uh, one of the positive outcomes of this decision also is that we expect large number of people to migrate to digital transactions. It is already happening. The public sector banks in particular have, particular have informed us that there is a big, there is a, you know, great surge in demands for uh, various kinds of, uh, uh, you know, prepaid cards, uh, debit cards and impressed cards and various, uh, you know, for uses of the digital means, uh, digital means and modes of uh, payment. Now, in the same vein, the TRAI has also reduced the USSD charges from rupees 150 to 50 paisa per session. The announcement in this regard has been made by the TRAI yesterday. And uh, not only they have reduced the USSD charges from 150 to 50, 1 rupee 50 paisa to 50 paisa, they have also increased the number of stages from the current 5 to 8. Now, we have to remember that these charges will be of great benefit, uh, especially for undertaking digital financial transaction through feature phones. Now, these are not, we are not talking of uh, smartphones. We are talking of feature phones, which are not smartphones. And in our entire telecom sector in the country, 65% of the total, total mobile phones used in the country, I repeat, 65% of the total mobile phones in the country are feature phones, which are not smartphones. And this waiver of the, you know, the reduction of the USSD charge of the, by the TRAI has now also been matched by the telecom companies themselves to waive the remaining 50 paisa of the charges up to 31st December 2016. In other words, for all digital financial transactions which are being which will be undertaken in feature phones will have no service charge till 31st of uh, december 2016 another area which has also engaged the attention of government is to promote uh, digital payments at the various uh, you know at the various toll plazas and uh, check posts now the problem of check posts is being addressed in the context of the GST, in the context of introduction of the GST. Now, so far as the toll plazas are concerned, you know, various uh, tolls which uh, the way vehicles are required to pay when they move on the national highways. So far as toll plazas are concerned, the Ministry of Road Transport and Hi Highways are, have advised, are, going, are advising the vehicle manufacturers that in all new vehicles, they must the manufacturers must provide ETC compliant RFID facility. Now the provision of ETC compliant RFID facility on all new vehicles will ensure payment digitally, the payment of the toll in a digital method and also it will enable, you know, it will avoid the waiting time and the vehicles will move seamlessly without having to wait at the check posts. So this is uh, another decision which will uh, improve the functioning of the toll plazas, will improve also the system of uh, digital payments. And uh, finally, all government organizations, public sector undertakings, and other government authorities have been advised to use only digital payment uh, methods such as internet banking, unified uh, payment uh, interface, <coughs> cards, Aadhaar enabled, enabled payment systems, etc., to make payments to all stakeholders and to their employees. At the point of disbursing of the payments, that is when payments are to be disbursed to various uh, private agencies or contractors, whom government, uh, whom government departments or agencies or PSUs, when they make payments to private parties, 
at those disbursing points also it will be necessary for the concerned authorities to provide an option for payment through cards digital banking unified payment interface aadhar enabled payment systems etc in other words in other words the option of digital payments even to private parties will be mandatorily provided will necessarily be provided it will be an option which will be provided and uh, uh, you know instead of issuing a check or a demand draft you can make the payment through an online uh, uh, transaction so all these measures of the government are essentially meant to uh, promote digital penetration with regard to various kinds of transactions the measures are also intended to help the farmers in the current rabi season to ensure a normal rabi crop especially coming on the back of a good monsoon that we have so these are the measures which i wanted to announce the national payment corporation of india has been playing a very important role in promoting digital transactions i have with me the colleagues of uh, from the national payment corporation of india who will just take a couple of minutes if you can focus the camera i would uh, request my colleagues from national payment corporation of india to just show a small demonstration how the you know the uh, uh, the payments are facilitated uh, through the mobile phone and after that i will address a few questions <coughs> i will reply to a few questions thereafter nahi nahi yahan dikha dijiye nimish nahi yahan haath mein dikha dijiye na aap मोबाइल में लेके हाथ में दिखा कैमरा कैच कर ले वो कैमरा कैच कर ले वो मोबाइल में दिखा मोबाइल 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 आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट द कार्ड्स यू नो कैमरास टू प्लीज फोकस एंड प्लीज नो कन्वर्सेशन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू लाउडली गुड मॉर्निंग बैठ जाओ लाउडली गुड मॉर्निंग सर हम लोगों ने एक यूपीआई जो यूनिफाइड पेमेंट इंटरफेस है एनपीसीआई ने डेवलप करके सारे बैंकों को ऑलरेडी दे चुके हैं ऑलरेडी 20 बैंक इसमें पायलट बेसिस पे काम कर रहे हैं ये जो डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन है मैं आपको यही दिखाऊंगा ये कोई भी बैंकिंग कस्टमर जो है एक एक करके कोई भी बैंकिंग कस्टमर जो है ये एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड करके जैसे किसी का एक ईमेल आईडी होता है पर्सनल ईमेल आईडी होता है उसी तरह का सबका एक फाइनेंशियल आईडी हो सकता है जैसे मैं अगर पंजाब नेशनल बैंक में अकाउंट होल्डर हूं तो मेरा नाम के हिसाब से पुष्पनियार एट द रेट पीएनबी मेरा एड्रेस होगा इनकी एड्रेस अगर दिनेश एट द रेट ओबीसी बैंक होगा और ये पीएनबी से ओबीसी हम लोग ट्रांसफर कर सकते हैं पैसा और ये मैं ट्रांसफर भी कर सकता हूं और पैसा पुल भी कर सकता हूं मतलब पहले आज तक जितने भी पेमेंट हुए हैं वो पुल बेसिस पे हुए हैं मतलब हम लोग पैसा भेज सकते हैं लेकिन ये पहला इंटरफेस होगा जिसमें कि हम पैसा मांग भी सकते हैं तो ये हम लोग आपको दिखा रहे हैं कैसे हम लोग भेज सकते हैं पैसा ये अभी एक रुपए उन्होंने ट्रांसफर किया है अपने आईसीआई बैंक के ऐप से ये ट्रांजेक्शन इज सक्सेसफुली पीएनबी दिखा दिया पीएनबी पीएनबी पचास इसमें क्या है कोई भी बैंक का ऐप आप डाउनलोड करके किसी भी अकाउंट से लिंक करके आप ट्रांजेक्शन कर सकते और ये पैसा मांग भी सकते हैं अगर मुझे उनसे पैसा मांगना है पहले इनको डालना पड़ता था मेरा अकाउंट नंबर आईएफसी कोड अभी उसके अलावा मैं सिर्फ एक एसएमएस भेजूंगा कि मेरे को इतने पैसे दे दो वो ओके करेंगे और पैसा मेरे पास आ जाए तो ये चीज हम लोग अभी ऑलरेडी कर चुके हैं तो ये वेबसाइट होगी या कोई प्ले स्टोर से हमें कुछ डाउनलोड कर प्ले स्टोर से मोबाइल क्या है थोड़ा सा वो बता दीजिए डिस्क्राइब कर दीजिए कैसे कैसे करेंगे प्ले स्टोर से नाम क्या है आपका क्या नाम है आपका क्या नाम क्या है यूपीआई 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 यूनिफाइड पेमेंट इंटरफेस जैसे पीएनबी का दिखा रहे हैं अभी इसका नाम है पीएनबी यूपीआई तो हर एक बैंक का हर एक बैंक का अलग अलग होगा आप अगर पीएनबी पंजाब नेशनल बैंक के अकाउंट होल्डर हैं तो आपका वो अलग होगा स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया का अकाउंट होल्डर है तो आपका अलग एसबीआई का जो है वो होगा okay. उसी के बेसिस पे आप 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 डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं और सर आपने जो पूछा आरटीजीएस और एनडीएफटी से कैसे डिफरेंस है आरटीजीएस एनडीएफटी एक टाइम पीरियड के बाद ही होता है ये ऑनलाइन आपको तुरंत आ जाता है इंस्टेंट भी पैसा हिंदी पैकेट इट यूजेज आईएमपीएस और इसमें आपको पुल भी होता है जैसे कि आप उसमें पैसा भेज सकते हैं इसमें आप पैसा मांग भी सकते हैं 
टिल नाउ इट इज डिपेंड ऑन बैंक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इसके अंदर ही हम लोग कर रहे हैं अभी सॉरी जो फार्मर जो है वो आर बी आई का सर्कुलर आई थिंक दे हैव ऑलरेडी क्लैरिफाइड दिस इश्यू मैं आर बी आई का सर्कुलर आप देख लो उसमें आई थिंक इट इज क्लियरली मैंशन वन बाई वन जब मतलब आपके इनकम टैक्स के कितने सीजर्स हुआ है नहीं उसका क्यूमुलेटिव जो है फिगर मेरे पास अभी नहीं है इस पीरियड का भी फिगर मेरे पास अभी तुरंत अवेलेबल नहीं है वो जब अप्रोप्रिएट टाइम है रेवेन्यू डिपार्टमेंट इसको दे विल शो इट वन बाई वन सॉरी अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दैट यूर प्रिंटेड नो नो आई थिंक इट्स ए इट्स एट्स ए ऑन गोइंग प्रोसेस तो वित्त सचिव शक्तिकांत दास को आप सुन रहे थे और ई वॉलेट की लिमिट को यहां पर बढ़ाया गया है इसके अलावा सभी सरकारी भुगतान अब डिजिटाइज होंगे वाहन चालकों से आरएफआईडी सुविधा देने के लिए भी कहा गया है जो कि नए वाहन अब आएंगे उनके तहत ताकि जो टोल टैक्स आप देते हैं उसका भुगतान ऑटोमेटिकली हो जाए आ, समय कम लगे फोन से ट्रांजैक्शन पर भी कोई चार्ज आपको नहीं देना होगा कई सारी ऐसी सुविधाएं हैं जिसमें से सर्विस चार्जेस को हटा लिया गया है इसके अलावा यूपीआई एक इंटरफेस बनाया गया है सरकार की तरफ से जो कि आपकी आई मोबाइल बैंकिंग में होगा जितनी भी बैंकिंग के मोबाइल साइट्स हैं उन पर यह उपलब्ध होगा और इसके जरिए आप कैश ट्रांसफर कर सकते हैं किसी भी अपने दूसरे अकाउंट में